Hello and welcome back to the third part of our B outfit tutorial. This is an outfit in newborn size. And if in the first part we've made the chest part, we've made the back and um, in the second tutorial uh, we've made the sleeves, now it's time to continue to work the body of our uh, sleeper. But first, we need to undone the provisional cast on and to place all the 68 stitches onto our circular needle. Remember, this is 4.5 millimeter or US 7 and these are 16 inches long or 40 centimeters. Another important thing is to use for the cast on a different color because here the first strip is worked in uh, dark yarn so it is important to see the stitches so with the help of a tapestry needle start to undone the provisional cast on and place the stitches onto your needle just as I am doing right now remember that you need to have 68 stitches it is possible that after uh, you undone this provisional cast on to count <coughs> sorry only 67 stitches it is possible to lose <coughs> one stitch here but this is not a big problem we will pick up a stitch if we need to we will see after uh, we'll have all the stitches on the needle so this is the first step to continue to work this sleeper first we need to undone the provisional cast on and to place our stitches on the circular needle I will come back once I have all my stitches Okay, so I have my stitches placed on my circular needle and as I said before, <clears throat> after placing all the stitches, please count the stitches because it is possible to have one stitch less, exactly how I have here. I only have 67 stitches and this uh, is happening because of the first stitch because we didn't make a knot um, once we attach the yarn <clears throat> and start to working after um, after the um, provisional cast on and if you look carefully you can see the stitch let me show you the stitch is right here my god I can see nothing with this color so this is my stitch this is my 68 stitch or my first <laughs> stitch okay 
Now, as you can see here, we have three uh, visible rows in uh, worked in uh, a dark color, and we need another row in dark color to work. So we are attaching the black yarn, and I will start with a pearl row. leaving a tail let me see what I have here I think I have my edge this is a pearl stitch for me no this is a knit stitch for me remember you can work this a one by one rib edge if you want if not it is okay I am making a knot here and then I will wave this tail around my uh, main yarn to hide a little bit um, my uh, this tail okay now I have pearl stitch and I will continue now to pearl until my last four stitches on this row I am almost at my last four stitches on this row I've made my edge one by one rib. Now, now we have four visible uh, rows worked in black. It means that it's time to change the color. I will take the yellow this time and from now on I won't cut the yarn and attach with a knot the other yarn I will keep this in the back of my work take the yellow leaving again a short tail and start to work the next row so for me here is a knit stitch then I have a pearl stitch <clears throat> then I have a knit stitch and a pearl stitch and now I continue to knit until I reach my last four stitches because on this row not only that we we've changed the color 
but we also will join our work in round. If you look here, now you can count five visible black rows. bit a mess okay I want to reach my last four stitches and to show you what we are working on the slipper that is uh, ready that is my model so these are my last four stitches let me leave aside my work okay so now that we just attach the yellow yarn we are we are actually here we just made this row and we need to uh, join in round and then we will continue to work circular so these are my last four stitches I will place these four stitches onto a double pointed needle and it is very important to not twist uh, your work because look for the part where you have the button holes and as you uh, see my work this is in left here because this part needs to be um, on top when join in round so I am taking these uh, four uh, stitches onto my double pointed needles in the back of the needle with my button holes but also make sure all these yarns are in the back of your work like this just a second because I have too many no I will leave the tails of the black like this down and now I can join in round and first we are working together we are knitting together one stitch for from my double point needle together with one stitch here so first I am taking this yellow stitch together with this first 
black stitch and knit them together like this and then I can drop them from my needles pull the yarn here this tail yellow tail to close this stitch here and I will do again the same I am taking one stitch one yellow stitch and one black stitch and knit them together now I take my stitch marker and place it on my right handed needle like this because this will mark your end and beginning of the next row as you can see we have two uh, black stitches here on the uh, back on our double pointed needle and we need to uh, work this process two more time so taking one yellow stitch one black stitch and knit them together then drop them from your stitch uh, from your needles and one more time I'm inserting in the yellow stitch first and then in the black stitch and I am knitting them together now I can drop the stitches I leave my double pointed needle aside and my friends we just join in round now we will continue to knit as you can see here is my black yarn now we need to continue to knit until we count four rows in yellow and then it's time to change the color So this is actually my first yellow row, my first visible yellow row. I, I say visible just because you can see, now you can see the yellow row. I know I am working a little fast, but I am just knitting. Okay, I am not uh, making something else. I almost reach the end of the row. And I will stop before my last two stitches just because I want to secure a little bit so I am at my last two stitches I want to secure this um, tail yes. I think I will make it after my first two stitches on the second row yeah better like this so this is the end of the row now slip the marker 
work the first two stitches I am taking this little tail and start to wave this tail around my yarn it will be easier at the end just to wave through the stitches this tail it's secure uh, well like this I think it's enough I will leave it on the back of my work and now I will continue to knit this is the easiest part because we are not decreasing we are not increasing so we are just knitting in the round and count the rows or the strips okay I am very close of the end of my second row with yellow. I will make these rows together with you until we change the color to see how I work. I'm curious if um, you've tried this uh, knitting method Portuguese style which is so unbelievable good for my hands and for my tension and for my uh, speed of knitting okay so I slipped the marker and I I am starting a new row my third with yellow I know many of you are waiting for all the parts to start and knit this uh, outfit and it won't take long for you to to have all the parts because I am working daily at this tutorial Oh, and I will leave you in the description below. Uh, always check out the description below. Uh, a dear friend of mine uh, was uh, messaged me um, the other days and told me she uh, can find this yarn in UK, Neko. And unfortunately, um, the embrace from King Cole, which is very similar to this yarn, um, don't have yellow in the palette color. And I think uh, it is uh, very well. If you use, uh, for example, um, brushed alpaca from Drops, I will uh, leave you more info in the description below of the video. So I've just ended with row three. So one, two, three. And now I am slipping my marker and start with row four. And my last, because on the next row, I will uh, change the color.
So remember, this is row four. Almost done with this row too. Now I am slipping the marker. And every time from now on, when you uh, change the color let me show you this is the black and this is the yellow we need to twist them like this so I am taking my yellow and leave it aside you see the yellow underneath the black and the black now is up one more thing you need to do before to start and use the new color pull here to close the last stitch that you've worked with black now when working the first stitch in the new color <clears throat> make sure that here is not too tight I mean we cannot work like this pulling uh, the yarn the new yarn like this we just need to leave it uh, loose for the first stitch like this see and continue to knit now we are knitting row five with yellow because now if you count here we have two four five if we count here we have only four with the yellow so we continue to work in knit stitch because we are working circular we are only knitting not purling I want to show you this row too so you can see the transition to the next color in circular And don't worry if after changing the color your last stitch this one is loose and you have a gap here because once you change the color you will uh, pull tight here and it will close okay so my end of the row I am slipping my stitch marker and I continue to knit 
Now you continue to work until you have four visible black rows. And I will come back after I have my uh, four rows in black. I'm about to finish row four with a black yarn. And I'm passing the slipper, the stitch marker, sorry. I am slipping <laughs> the stitch marker. And now I need to change the color. And remember, now I am putting the black yarn underneath my yellow yarn. Just a second. So now black is underneath my yellow. And now we are starting to working with yellow, but first remember to pull tight here to close uh, this stitch here. And then loosely the first stitch and now we continue to work until we have four rows with yellow and then we will change again the yarn. I want to show you that we need to work six strips until we will start to work the first leg. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. We will end with a black strip. And right now we are working the third st uh, strip. I want to show you this row. yarn oh my god <laughs> and continue to work Um, I wanted to show you, well, here, when you change the color, there is a little difference between um, the last row of yellow and um, the next row with black, so you can adjust a little bit that difference 
when you reach your last stitch on the row where you changed the color just pick up this loop of the stitch place it like this and knit the stitch and then continue So I will come back after I have four um, rows in yellow and change the color again with you. Remember we are working um, the third strip. I have four rows in uh, yellow now I need to uh, change the color again so I am placing my yellow underneath the black like this I am um I pulled tied here the black to close the stitch and as you can see now there is no difference between the rows because of that little trick that we did before and I will show you again on this row too Remember, you need to um, make this little trick uh, on the row uh, where you are changing the color and on the last stitch. <laughs> of course, we are pulling tight the yarn here to close the stitch, the last black stitch, but once we start to work the first stitch, in the new color we are not pulling tight the yarn because we want stretchiness remember uh, once the baby um, wear this outfit this will stretch like this okay as you can see here I didn't made that trick with the stitch I don't know why and you can see a little bit of difference uh, each time I've changed the color so let's continue with the next row And because we are working with black now I will you will can you will see better that trick for the last stitch and um, also I forgot to uh, mention something very important once uh, we join in round remember that uh, we had 68 stitches after joining in round we lose four stitches so now we are working only 64 stitches that's why uh, I always try to remember you to read um, the description below the video in case I forgot um, which I hope it won't happen very often but in case I forgot to mention something important I will uh, write it in the description of the video we are very close 
to our last stitch and to work our little trick because this is what uh, we can call it okay so this is my last stitch I am picking up this loop here and place it on my left needle and basically I will knit these two together and that's it slip the marker and continue continue to work until you have four rows with the black yarn this is our four strip the strip number four besides uh, this one we need to work two more okay I will come back after I have my four rows with black I have my four rows with black <clears throat> and now it's time to change the color again so remember take the black underneath your yellow and bring the yellow up they twist like this now pull here to close that stitch that last stitch and now work the first stitch loosely here continue to work until the last stitch on this row where we need to make that little trick again now we are starting the strip number five this one one more and that's it then we can separate the stitches and start to work the leg the first leg Okay, my last stitch, I am picking up the loop, actually it's half of the stitch, this loop, and knit them together. And continue to work until you have four rows with yellow I will come back after my four rows in yellow I've done my four rows with the yellow and this time to change again the color 
So the yellow. underneath the black like this hold tight here to close this black stitch place the marker and work the first stitch remember that from here to here this um, yarn um, needs to be a little loose You can pull after the first stitch a little bit like this and continue to knit until we reach the last stitch where we are making that little trick so the difference between the rows to be less visible the rows in different color and i think this is the last strip which means I am almost ready with the part three of this tutorial which I think is the hardest um, tutorial I've made until now I think I don't know how you see the colors but I think in my tutorial this yellow it's brighter than it is in uh, reality so this is the last stage of our row and now I am picking up this half of a stitch place the stitch like this or the loop and then I am working these two together I am slipping my marker and I will continue to work until I will have another four uh, rows in black let me count again so this is one strip two three four five six and we have one two three four five and yes we are at our six strip so I will come back after I have four rows with black. So I've made my four rows 
with the black yarn and this my friends is the end of the part three of this tutorial and uh, in the part four we will work the first leg in the part five we will work the second leg and in the part uh, six we will work the bonnet i hope you will enjoy knitting uh, this little outfit as much as i do uh, i hope my step-by-step -step, um, to help you to work this outfit until next time stay safe Bye.